It all starts with a dead girl. Ever since I was little, I've had this dream. It's the end of summer. The girl is running through the woods. The moon, the scent of pines. And then the gunshot. It always felt so real. The blood on my cheek, the cold sweat running down my skin. I'd managed to convince myself it really happened. This scar of a memory. A part of me I could never fully understand. Uh, well, that wasn't the only part. No wonder people used to think I was strange. If they only knew. That day when the phone rang, it was the hardest day of my life. The day I went home to say goodbye to my father dress him up for his last journey, put him in a suit, fix his tie. Simple. Just the things he did every day. But looking through his stuff wasn't easy. I needed a moment to pull myself together. I was almost ready. I just had to find his special tie clip. Shit. Yeah. Nice to see you too. Looks nourishing. Here you go. What's your face? Glad to see you're still kicking around. I can't believe it's all still here. Oh, Jack. Huh. I guess I forgot about this one. I can do it now.
was the last photo I took of you, Jack. Shit. Weird to be back in my old room. So many memories. Kids from the orphanage, not all of them had my luck. That's why I kept coming back. To play, to take care of them, to listen. That was the least I could do. Spirits. There was a time I'd try to run from them, to ignore their calls. Matthew was the first one I helped pass on. Jack's room. It's like he never... Come on, Jack, where'd you put it? Okay, let's do this the other way. Okay, I think that's it. Jack's waiting downstairs. Time to say goodbye. We lived upstairs from Jack's funeral home. It wasn't as weird as it sounds. Besides, if it wasn't for that, I may never have learned to use my powers. Jack taught me to accept my condition. Of all my foster parents, he was the only one who saw it as a gift and not a curse. Jack's in the prep room. Oh, weird. I don't remember locking it. The key should be in the office. Here it is. Not sure if I'm ready for this. Hey, Jack. Hi.
I got your special. Snazzy. You wouldn't have it any other way. I didn't expect this to be easy. I guess I didn't know what to expect. When things get personal, it... It just burns you from the inside out. There. I guess you're ready. people read the signs it's closed You felt it too, huh? And then it happened. As it did so many times before. Just when I thought my day couldn't get any worse. Oh, where is that darn notebook? I'm gonna be late! happened to see my notebook, did you, darling? Uh, my memory's a bit fuzzy. So much for aging gracefully. Eh? Where is that thing? Listen, Jack. You should probably get some rest. Forget the notebook. Oh, no, no. I've got so much work, my dear. It's I, okay, I, Jack. I, I can't just... What? Let it go. Uh, it's not important. You are crying. What's wrong, dear? Oh, why is it so cold in here? Oh, where is that? Shh, 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 shh. Hmm? It's okay, hey. Jack. It's okay. My sweet little Marianne. What would I ever do without you? Jack. It's time to get some rest. Oh, Marianne. Yeah? No. I, I, I'm worried about the surgery. When I'm at the hospital, are, are you sure you're going to be all right? Yes, Jack. It's going to be fine. Uh, oh, you, you know, uh, I promised myself once. I would never let anything happen to you. Not while I'm around. I'll be fine. I promise. Uh, <laughs> no, 
risky stuff, then. Huh? All right? All right, Jack. Now, get some uh, rest. I need no. Yes, yes. Be, be good, Marianne. I love you, my child. I've loved you since the moment you walked into my life. Remember that. Always. Most people would give anything to have that opportunity. To say all the things that were left unsaid. But it didn't make things any easier. I could help a thousand souls cross over, but when it came to Jack, it still hurt like hell. I love you too, Daddy. I used to think everyone saw the world the way I did. Divided, torn between two realities. But no, I was the only one. Or so I thought. We're closed. There's another funeral home across town. I can give you the number. At... Marianne. Who is this? You don't know me, Marianne. But I know you. Look, if this is a joke... Uh... You need to listen to me, Marianne. Okay, I I'm hanging up. I know what you are. What? Who is this? My name is Thomas. I need your help. Uh -huh. <laughs> listen, if that's all you've got, I'm... No, oh. there's more. I can give you the answers you've been looking for your whole life. But I, I need you to trust me. Trust you? I don't even know you. It all starts with a dead girl. What did you say? The Neva Resort. Find me there. Please. The light, it's almost gone. It's not dark yet, but it's getting there. You're the only one who can stop it. You're my only chance. Hello? Hello? Shit.
and off I went, on nothing but a hunch, a call from a complete stranger. But I'd learned to trust my instincts, and there was something about this guy, his voice. I felt like I should know him. Either way, he sure seemed to know me. The Neva Workers Resort. Right off the bat, I could feel there was something off about that place. The front gate was locked up tight. I needed to find another way in. Anyone home? I guess not. Hello? Thomas? You want to keep me out, Neva? We're gonna have to do better than that. Not a whole lot of people knew about Neva. It used to be a government-owned vacation resort. Until one day it just stopped. And so an urban legend was born. The Neva Massacre. The details were always fuzzy. Crazed workers, ancient curses. You know, the usual. What's this? Be my way in. Something happened here. The 
split would come and go. If a place had a story to tell, well, I guess I was there to listen. Yeah, I'm not getting through here. Not with the power out. When you exist in two realities, you're affected by either. I'd learned that the hard way. Dead. Like... The place felt old and soaked in misery. Figures, I guess. A thousand years of history doesn't just happen. It's paid for. But even in the deepest darkness, light can linger. Lonely. Fragile. Waiting for someone to embrace it. As I absorbed the energy, I wondered who it was that left it behind. A dying soldier whispering the name of his beloved? Or maybe just glad to be done with this world? I figured I could use it. Energy's energy, right? Oh, so that worked. Good for you, Marianne. These powers of mine, as much of a pain in the ass as they were, they did come in handy sometimes. So there I was. Existing in two worlds, but never really living in either. Ugh. <sighs> 